In this video, we will see the working of an inductor. Inductor is the basic and simple component which is widely used in the field of electrical and electronics engineering. What is an inductor? When a piece of wire is wound in the form of a coil, it is called as an inductor. It stores energy in the form of magnetic field. It opposes the change in current. It allows DC and blocks AC. To understand how it works, let's review some fundamental laws of electromagnetism. These laws exist everywhere and cannot be changed. The first law states that whenever there is an electric current flowing through a conductor, a magnetic field is developed around it like this. The second law states that whenever a conductor is placed in a varying magnetic field, an EMF is induced which causes electric current to flow through it. So, we have seen that the working of an inductor is governed by these two laws. Now, what is an inductance? To understand the property of inductance, let's take an inductor and see that the current flows through this inductor. Let us suppose the current is flowing through the inductor in this direction. Now this current creates a magnetic field which is linked with the neighboring coils inducing an EMF in this portion setting up positive voltage on one side and negative voltage on the other side. Now what do you think will happen? Due to this potential difference current flows from positive to negative so as to oppose the main current. Now two currents cannot flow in a single wire. The induced current instead of cancelling the main current reduces the magnitude of the main current. Now this tendency of an electrical conductor to oppose the change in electric current flowing through it is called as inductance and it is denoted by the letter L. Inductance is given by L is equal to pi n by i where L is the inductance, pi is the magnetic flux, n is the number of turns of the coil, i is the current flowing through the coil. It is measured in units called Henry. Now Let's apply a DC voltage to the inductor. Initially, there is an opposition by the induced current, but as the magnetic field comes to a constant point, this opposition dies off and the current gains a constant value. From this point, the inductor behaves like a straight wire and the current now in the circuit can only be restricted by this resistor. So, these are some of the basics we need to know about the inductor. Hope you have understood. Thank you. Have a good day.